Unraveling the meaning, losing one's thread. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, losing one's thread. It's a phrase that pops up in conversations, stories, and even during presentations. But what does it actually mean, and how can you use it effectively in your own English communication? Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery together. The phrase, losing one's thread, refers to the moment when someone forgets what they were talking about or loses their train of thought. Imagine a speaker weaving a story or an argument thread by thread, and suddenly, one of those threads slips away. The connection is lost, and so is the direction of the speech or narrative. Interestingly, this expression comes from the literal idea of losing the thread in weaving, which would make it difficult to continue creating a fabric. This metaphor beautifully transitions into the realm of speech and thought, signifying the loss of continuity or direction. It's commonly used in both formal and informal settings. Whether someone is giving a speech, explaining a concept, or simply telling a story, mentioning that they've lost their thread is a universally understood way of saying they've temporarily forgotten what they were about to say next. To give you a clearer picture, let's look at some examples. In conversation, I was trying to explain my point, but then I lost my thread because of the interruption. During a presentation, let's see, where was I? Ah, I seem to have lost my thread for a moment. In storytelling, as I wove the tale of the ancient forests, I lost my thread, caught up in the beauty of the imagery. These examples show how the phrase can be used in different contexts to express the same idea of momentary forgetfulness or confusion. Losing your thread doesn't have to be a conversation stopper. Here are a few tips to recover gracefully. 1. Pause and breathe. Sometimes, a short pause is all you need to recollect your thoughts. 2. Recap what you remember. Go back to the last thing you remember discussing. It can help jog your memory. 3. Use humor. A light-hearted comment about losing your thread can ease any tension and give you a moment to regroup. 4. Ask for a prompt. If you're in a dialogue, the person you're speaking with might be able to help steer you back on track. Losing one's thread is a phrase rich with imagery and relatability, perfect for describing those moments of forgetfulness in speech. We hope this video has not only helped you understand its meaning and usage but also equipped you with strategies to weave your way back should you ever lose your thread. Happy speaking, and remember, even the best of us can lose our thread from time to time, it's all part of the beautiful tapestry of language learning.